You are listening to Sean Kelly Interviews, a presentation of Sean Kelly on Movies at www.skonmovies.com. Now, here is your host, Sean Kelly. Hello, and welcome to a special Fantasia episode of Sean Kelly Interviews. I am Sean Kelly, uh, live from Montreal, and I am going to um, have an interview today with uh, Maurizio Guarini, who is of the band Goblin, and uh, he is at Fantasia to do his live score for the film Le Inferno, otherwise known as Dante's Inferno, and I spoke to him about that, and I'll get right to it, and I hope you enjoy. Hey, can you um, talk a bit about the um, film you're getting the score for? About what, in general? Uh, the legacy of the film. <laughs> okay, I, I, my... I met this film last year for the first time, I didn't know the existence, and the Italian Institute of Culture of Toronto suggested me to do the soundtrack because there was a, an event, so the Italian community, the consulate, talking about Dante because it's uh, something important for the Italian literature, and the guy from uh, uh, IAC, Institute of Italian Culture, why don't you try to do a soundtrack, I, I took the challenge, I did the soundtrack, and that was, uh, I fell in, fell in love with this movie, this 107 year old movie mm-hmm. with all this effect, the very first Italian uh, feature, so yeah, yeah, I just took the chance, I did the, the first screening in Toronto in 2017, and it was, it was great, so yeah, I kept doing that, I did it again in October, and uh, since there was a request to do it more and more and more, I said, in a way, that I, I'm touring now with this, uh, this thing. So, um, what, what was your approach to um, scoring the film? I had uh, to see it th- several times, and I thought, uh, what would be something that uh, the original author would have loved? Because they didn't have music at that time. I saw that there are two or three versions of the movie made by somebody else, like Tangerine Dream and stuff. And they had a different approach, very keeping their music uh, and leaving the movie like a, an avant-garde thing. So no, no, I wanted to stick to the movie and uh, follow the scenes. So I, I, I did something uh, like an orchestral thing. So in, in a very classical way. I mean, uh, some synthesizer, some orchestral, some uh, very touching um, melodrama, melodrama, something like... Uh, in a classical way, I think that fits with the movie. Yeah, yeah. But I had to think about it because the, I had the option to do it even a, like a, in an experimental way. But I, I wanted to do more acoustically is, uh, nice. I mean, that must sound. So, um, what are the challenges that come with doing a live sport with her? <laughs> oh. You have to play for more than one hour in real time. I, for my choice, I'm not. I didn't use any computer. Sometimes you, you use a computer at the ground, like at the track with the click. No, I just play live totally. This is a really challenge. Uh, the challenge was finding the real team for the scenes, and uh, fortunately, I chose to do a little bit of improvisation mm-hmm. once the team is there so it's not improvised it's not all written it, there it's written the structure and I improvise on top on that. yeah but the challenge was it's a huge amount of music that you have to do because if you do a normal feature movie with words and stuff and dialogue you maybe write 20 minutes of music 30 but in this case it's more than 100 uh, say, more than one hour right so, um, do you expect that people um, familiar with your um, work with Goblin would be happy with this score for this film? <laughs> I, I hope so. I didn't stick to Goblin sound because I, I didn't want to identify the thing with Goblin. Even though for sure you'll see, you hear something like remind something Goblin. So in uh, scenes I use the like a Celesta, like a Suspiria, but it's not Suspiria. There is a, a couple of songs that are actually um, unpublished Goblin uh, song. What is called Helicopter. This is nocturnal, it's something in 1980. And another one was from a team of Buyo Omega called The Quiet Drops. 
but that's a sort of hidden in different sound. So I hope Goblin fans will like it, but of course there's no the sound of Goblin that the drums and bass and guitar, <laughs> okay. it's just me on stage. So. Okay. Okay, uh, that's all I have. So. And that is my interview with uh, Maurizio Quarini, uh, the uh, screening that he's doing the live score for. Le Inferno is screening, uh, as I record this, this evening, um, uh, J- July 15th, at the uh, uh, Giuseppe Cinema here in Montreal. And uh, a, the, as you can hear in the interview, he's touring this live score, so might come to a place near you. Okay, that's it for today, and I will maybe see you later in the week for another Fantasia interview. Sean Kelly Interviews is a production of Sean Kelly on Movies and is hosted by Sean Kelly. The music is Out of the Fog from the website podsummit.com. You can support Sean Kelly and get bonus podcasts at patreon.com slash skonmovies and you can read Sean Kelly's writing at www.skonmovies.com